Hi, welcome to Learn With Me, Mrs. Sullivan. It's Tacky Locks and the Three Bears. In a nice icy land, something was happening. What's happening? Blared Tacky the Penguin as he came across his companions. Goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect. A play. They replied, that's what's happening. Play, shrieked Tacky in delight. Play, love it, love it, love it. He waddled off at full speed and was back in a moment. I'm ready. No, Tacky, a play. We're going to perform a play about the three bears for Mrs. Beakley's school. Now first, we must each choose a part. A part of what? wondered Tacky. To choose a part, each penguin put a flipper into a bowl and drew out a piece of paper. Goodly and Lovely were proud to be announcers. Angel, neatly and perfect, we're pleased to be the three bears. And Tacky, <laughs> think about what part is left. For a whole week, goodly, lovely, angel, neatly and perfect practice their lines. Welcome to our play. Someone has taken a wee nibble of my porridge. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. This ends our play. Tacky practiced his lines too. At last the day of the play arrived. The penguin players, even Tacky, knew their lines by heart, but this time it would be the real thing with real costumes and real porridge and real chairs and real looking beds. Right on time, the audience arrived and took their seats Sort of. Welcome to our play, announced Goodly. No one listened. Welcome to our play, he tried again in a louder voice. Welcome to our... Oh, never mind. Looks like we have a tough audience, said Goodly. Everyone was nervous. Well, almost everyone. Onto the stage waddled the three penguin bears to do their official song and dance. We're bears without hairs, but who really cares? We're smart, and this is art, so there's. Then it was Tacky's turn. He skipped on stage and right into the table. He hadn't tried his skipping shoes before. Oh, it's Tacky Locks, cried the audience. In a loud and clear voice, Tacky spoke his lines. This porridge is too hot. But he ate it anyway. This porridge is too cold. But he ate it anyway. And this porridge is just right. With the just right porridge, he had no choice. He ate it. Ooh. Now, thought Tacky, if only I could find a little something for dessert. It would only take a moment. Perhaps there might be just the right something up 
in the cabinet. Tacky dragged over the biggest chair. He put the middle-sized chair on the big chair, put the little chair on the middle-sized chair, climbed to the top, stood on tippy-toe, and... A penguin full of porridge does not fall like a snowflake. Cool! <laughs> cheered the fuzzy little ones. Tacky felt lucky that the next scene was in the bedroom for a little rest would feel good. Thinking cozy thoughts, he waddled to the big bed. It was too hard, for it was merely a stage bed, and beneath the covers it was only a pile of ice blocks. This bed is too hard, said Tacky Locks, and he went to the middle-sized bed. This bed is too soft. It, too, was only a stage bed, and under the covers was a rubber raft. So Tacky Locks rolled all of the bedding over to the little bed. The little bed was a real bed. This bed is just right, Tacky Lock said. And with that, he wiggled under the whole pile of blankets and pillows and disappeared. We're home and hungry as bears, announced the three bears as they marched on stage. Papa Bear held the large empty bowl and cried, Someone has taken a little taste of my porridge. And a tiny nibble of mine, added Mama, holding another very empty bowl. Baby Bear wailed, You think you have trouble? My porridge is all gone. This sounded pretty silly since he wasn't the only one with an empty bowl. We need to sit in our chairs and discuss this, said the three bears. Papa Bear said, someone has been sitting in my, uh, where, chair? Mama Bear said, someone has been sitting in my, wait a minute. Baby Bear said, someone has been, oh, never mind. This play was not going at all as they had planned. The frazzled bears marched to the bedroom. Someone has been sleeping in my, um, pile of ice blocks, growled Papa Bear. Someone has been sleeping in my, um, rubber raft, too, added Mama. And Baby Bear squealed, Someone has been sleeping in my bed, and that someone's still there, I hope. The three penguins dug desperately. Where could Tacky be? Finally, Baby Bear cried, I've got it by the beak. The bears threw pillows to and fro until all of Tacky appeared and shouted, Pillow fight! Hooray! yelled the audience. Feathers flew everywhere until everyone was exhausted. Looks like our play has ended, Tacky, said Goodly, Lovely, Angel, Neatly, and Perfect. Just then, Mrs. Beakley arrived to pick up her class. And how did you like the play, children? she asked. Best play ever! Hooray for Tacky Locks! they cheered. Tacky Locks was an odd bird, but a nice bird to have around. 
Tacky Locks and the Three Bears, written by Helen Lester, illustrated by Lynn Munsinger. They make a great team, don't they? Thanks for watching. Learn with me, Mrs. Sullivan.